come here. Why do you disappoint me? Second by second, you waste my time. Many, many people dream of having a fan base. That's why so many people upload videos on YouTube trying to make it big. Now, I may not be huge, but I'm almost at 8,000 subscribers. And speaking of which, please subscribe and comment. I read and heart most of the comments, and I'm really hoping I can hit 8,000 subs by the end of the week. And at nearly 8,000 subscribers, I have a particularly active fan base, somewhere around 2,000 to 1,000 views every two days and 20 to 30 new subscribers a day. I get dozens of messages, tweets, and comments a day. However, I always make sure to carry myself the best way possible so I can keep my fans happy and allow them to have a good experience with me when they interact with me. The mysterious Mr. Enter has recently done something that allows me to talk about what's something aspiring YouTubers need to know. How not to talk to your fans. So what exactly did he do? Well, it's not the most absolutely terrible thing in the world, what he did is something that would turn any viewer off from you, or mar their view of you, making them think you're just a stuck-up asshole. Essentially, a viewer of his content pinged him in his Discord server stating they loved his videos, and he responded with wrong chat slash channel. Not terrible until he decided to go, do not ping me, ever. Well, that isn't necessarily bad and likely could have just been an impulse reaction. It's not exactly the best way to respond. It makes you seem self-important, or like you were super bothered by something so simple as a ping on Discord. So, let's look at this for a moment. If a ping really bothers you, that's understandable, but you need to be able to handle keeping your cool with someone who's only done it once. If they are not a repeat offender, there is no need to get huffy with them, just say please don't ping me. The way I would have responded, since pings don't really bother me, and in fact I encourage them, is thank you so much, I'm glad you enjoy my content. That's just my usual response, I use it a lot, but I mean those words. Because it truly is a blessing to have someone come to you and be a fan of your work. So, when a fan feels validated, they get something very important out of it. They get a pleasant interaction out of you which is likely enough to make their whole day. It'd stop here if he didn't continue the situation. What he did at first wasn't awful until he followed it up with this. So, there's a few things wrong with this. One, instead of thinking how the way you spoke to them could have made them upset, you directly confront them in the Discord server by pinging them. Kinda hypocritical, but okay. Then you bash them. Then you proceed to bash them, using phrases like, I'm giving you a chance... Wait. Using phrases like, I'm giving you a chance when confronting someone about something that wasn't bad is not a smart idea. And what was that rule he speaks of? Do not private message me or the scouts without explicit permission. Do not friend request me or the scouts either. The answer is no, and you will be kicked. Pinging me, personally, is also forbidden. Yeah, that's not worded in a conceited, self-important way or anything. <sighs> a rule like that causes people to think that you view yourself as untouchable. That your fans aren't worthy of messaging you, which makes them view you as more of a douche. Small, dickish actions stack up and cause people to grow away from you. And if you're not willing to acknowledge those things, you'll only cause more problems. I had some situations over the last few months where I was called out through Discord, and many people thought I was an asshole. I was confused, so I joined a Discord server full of those people to get a scope of why. After I learned of those things I did wrong, I was a bit stunned because they were all mostly little things, but like I said, little things stack up and ruin your image. So I swallowed my pride and apologized to everyone I could, that I felt like I'd upset. Because I'm not a mean person, I'm very approachable and I like to interact with fans. So, if I do anything that makes a fan or upset or uncomfortable, I want to remedy it. Enter. I'm not here to say that you're a terrible evil person. Because you're probably not. You, you really, you really aren't. But all I'm saying is that you just, you made a few mistakes that stack together make people view you as an ass. 
Just the just the way that you talk to people sometimes can make more people view you as a bad person. If I were you, I'd apologize to that user, but I'm not you, so it's all on you to figure out, buddy. Quick little update before I disappear. Um, I have another video planned that's going to come out before the Ultimate Collab, and it's going to be something with another YouTuber known as Cory. He's a friend of mine, and um, it's, it's going to be an entertaining video. It's going to be very different from other things that I've done. But um, if you want to view the Ultimate Collab early, I will be posting it about a day or two early on my Patreon when it's completed, and then it will go live on my channel. So if you really want to see it early, go ahead and head over to my Patreon. All you'd have to do is donate a dollar. More if you feel generous. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.